Hello and welcome to interest.co.nz. I'm Gareth Vaughan with another of our Double Shot interviews and I'm joined by Tessa Price, who's the CEO of UDC Finance. Welcome, Tessa, to interest.co.nz. Look, um, you've just joined in, well, just joined in June um, as the CEO at UDC Finance, which of course is owned by ANZ. Can you tell us a little bit about your background? Yeah, look, absolutely. Um, some people know that I actually started my first role out of university was with UDC back in '97. So it's a job that um, coming back to um, gives me great meaning, and I'm very proud to be back. I've been working in Australia for the last 12 years um, in asset finance and in banking. So very, very happy to be home. And you've also had some time in in media and uh, advertising type roles. I think Saatchi and Saatchi uh, features on your yep. um, CV <laughs> as well. So what what will that experience bring? Bring to this role? Yeah, it's taught me a lot about um, when you go and communicate to market, you really need to have messages that you know the organisation can deliver and staff can as well. So when I was working in advertising, a big part of the role was making sure that we had a service proposition and then communicating that clearly and making sure that staff, staff are really set up for success. And you've had a, had a few weeks now to have a good look under the hood at UDC. Um, what, what have you found there? Yeah, look, I'm really pleased. Fantastic momentum. Um, lending growth is good. Provisions are down to the lowest level since 2008. Our debenture book is performing really strongly. Um, I've got a passionate sales team out there who really know the customers in the industry as well. So very happy with that. Yeah, the TV ads obviously say yep. UDC, we've got lots of money to lend. How, how is lending growth going at the moment? What um, sort of rates are you getting and where are you seeing it? Yeah, well, I'm really pleased again. For July, we hit double digits, so just over 10%. So it was $99 million. So we are seeing good, solid growth in, in the market, not only in our lending book, but our debenture book as, as well, which is good to see. And what I love about that value proposition is New Zealanders are investing their money with us, and then we're investing that in New Zealand. So New Zealanders are helping. In New Zealand grow. And UDC obviously is a plant finance and equipment um, lender, financer. Um, obviously that has served the company well, sticking to its knitting in the last few years when obviously a lot of finance companies have, have fallen by the wayside. Do you plan to continue lending in that area or have you got plans to enter any new markets? No, absolutely not. We are specialists in asset finance um, and that is something that we know well and we know those industries um, and that's the value that we add not only to UDC but the Greater ANZ Group too in terms of that industry knowledge and that's something that's quite unique in terms of having a specialist finance company as part of a bank so it gives us a really holistic offering when we go to market and we work very closely with the ANZ Group and Commercial and Agri um, which means clients get a holistic solution when they come to the ANZ National Group. Who do you see as your competitors these days? Because obviously, I mean, Marrick used to be one of them. They're part of Heartland now. They're focused on trying to get a banking license. Mm -hmm. Would you would you sort of see the other banks? I mean, along with your parent, even as competitors. Uh, yeah, look, ab absolutely, the other banks. Um, our parent, um, we, we work and we collaborate with, so we don't ab we don't compete with. But yes, definitely BNZ and Westpac, and along with ASB, who um, are growing their asset finance arm as well. Are they all quite quite aggressive in this in this space? Because it's been highlighted, asset finance was highlighted again this year. I think it's two years now in a row by. KPMG's um, FIPS survey as an area where there was potential growth. So is there a bit more aggression from the competitors? Um, I'm seeing it as competitive, I would say. I'm not seeing it as um, aggressive. I think there's good competitive um, options out there as, as there should be. And in terms of debenture uh, funding, retail debenture funding, um, you mentioned there's some quite good growth coming in that space. What's your outlook for, for the future? Because, I mean, obviously not with UDC, but with other finance companies, a lot of Mars and Pars did get burnt in recent years. So are you optimistic about the future of, of, of debenture funding? Yeah, look, absolutely. UDC has been doing it for over 74 years. It's part of the ANZ um, group. We've got a strong value proposition there. Our debenture book's growing, and, and as I said, it helps us fund the other part of our business. So, you know, it's, it's a good place to play for us. Are you seeing, seeing a bit of growth there at the moment? Uh, yeah, the growth is we, we, we pick up volume all the time. So our debenture book standing at just one, over 1.55 billion at the moment, which is a good place to be. If you think our assets at 2 billion, we've got good coverage. And um, I guess um, looking ahead, um, you've obviously got ANZ as your, as your parent and you've got um, a, a credit facility with ANZ as well. How important is it to have that support um, in, in the, the market these days? 
Absolutely crucial and being part of the ANZ um, group is a real asset to us. Um, we can feed in, there's great expertise there. When we go to market as commercial and agri, as I said before, we can look at um, holistic solutions for our customers. Um, that credit line is important too and gives us cost of funding so we can top up as required. So I think it's an important part of who we are. And can you tell us a little bit about UDC in terms of I mean, how many staff are working there and, and how many sort of offices or outlets do you have around the country? Yep. Well, most of our staff are based in the regions where our customers are, and that's why they're close and they understand the customers in the industry. They're based with the ANZ Commercial and Agri-Regional Managers, which means we get more coverage um, throughout New Zealand. Within Auckland, I've got a small operational team, so really processing loans um, and looking at lending and you know good risk management as well. And a lot of my time is actually spent out in the field with our customers and my team really understanding where the growth is coming from and where, where we can improve it even further. So about over 160 people working at UDC today. And are there any particular industries where you see lending growth opportunities at the moment? Um, look, at the moment it's a little bit patchy, I've got to be honest. Um, we're seeing some pick up in construction in places, um, no surprises in Christchurch, and I was down there recently. It was fantastic to see some of our clients are actually helping transform the red zone, still taking down buildings, but some growth happening there as, as well. Um, the car or consumer sentiment has really picked up. So year to date we've seen a 16% increase in actually car loan lending. So that's that's pleasing to see. So I think what we're seeing is there's some positive sentiment out there. We are getting growth, but it seems to be shorter term. So customers and clients are making the decision when they know they've got the work or the contract. So that indicates to me that there's still a little bit uncertain about the future and what that will bring. Mm -hmm. And um, in terms of your, obviously you, you mentioned you started you know, right back when you started yep. your career was at UDC. I mean, yep. how, how's how's it changed in the time that you've been away? Okay, well, I'm really pleased to say that some things have not changed. So I've got the most passionate people out there that really do um, live and breathe the UDC um, brand, and that's fantastic to see coming back. Got people out there that, um, that you know, 30 years plus experience and really know their industries and their locations. Um, places like the South Island and Wellington Central and, and you know Auckland as, as well. So that's fantastic. But what I have seen is investment in technology, and we've got a platform called UDC Live, which is, allows our dealers to actually do loans and give 15 second auto approvals. So a real increase in technology and a real focus on process and operational improvement um, as well as an organisation. So that's really pleasing. That's an opportunity as part of the ANZ group to, to grow that and that technology and use that as an enabler. But what I'm really pleased to see is just that passion that comes through. People really live and breathe the UDC brand. Um, other organisations I've worked for, I would have loved to have seen that. And obviously um, David Hisco, who's the CEO of ANZ New Zealand, he had a stint a couple of years as CEO of uh, UDC a few years ago. Has he given you any advice? Uh, absolutely, David's given me lots of advice. He was actually the CEO when I was there and he was one of my mentors and sent me across to a sander where I really learnt car finance. I ate it for breakfast, lunch and dinner and that was something that was really good. Coming back he's absolutely said, yep, stick to the basics, look at assets you know, and make sure that you know the industry you're in. So um, he's been a great mentor of mine over the years. Okay, well thanks for coming in today Tessa. That's Tessa Price who is the new CEO of UDC Finance and I'm Gareth Vaughan with another Double Shot interview at interest.com. Code